beautiful humans and welcome back to my channel where I post all things that bring me joy. My name is Linnea. If you're new here, let me quickly catch you up to speed. I am a cancer patient, which is relevant to today's video because I recently started to lose a lot of my hair, so I buzzed it and I have been on a wig journey. Before we get into that, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and thank you for all of your continued love and support. Now, being new to this wig journey, buying my first wig, I didn't know where to order from, so I actually ordered from Amazon. And so today I'm gonna be reviewing for Amazon wigs. I was looking at the real hair expensive ones that are made for people who medically are losing their hair and I just felt like I'm not ready for it. It's such an investment and I wanted to play around with wigs, figure out what styles I like, how to take care of them, how to customize them, cut them, and all of that jazz because this is a completely new journey and the last thing I want to do is have over a grand to go down the toilet because <laughs> I've mistakenly tried to fix something on my wig and made a big boo-boo. So without making you wait any longer, let's talk about these wigs. This first wig was a major impulse buy. I was just checking out Amazon and I saw this wig and then I just went ahead and purchased it. <laughs> and I spent a little bit more time looking at reviews and researching the other ones, but I will say that the style is super cute. I have had a peek, you can see the bag is open. So that little package did come with a wig cap and here's the wig. It is quite shiny so that is a pretty big indication of a synthetic wig. If you are trying to pull this off as real hair, it's going to take a little bit of customization. You're going to have to put a little bit of work into spraying it or powdering it to bring down that shine. The synthetic hairs themselves are quite soft and it doesn't seem to be that tangly but I do see like a lot of shedding like quite a bit but I mean it was 25 to 30 dollars so I feel like that's pretty good <laughs> considering. Let's have a look at the inside. So this is the inside. It has the straps to adjust how tight you want it so you have a better fit and a better hold. The hair is a little bit longer than it is in the picture, but I mean more to play with, more to customize if needed. The bangs, we'll see how they look. I might have to cut those as well. And I will insert some clips of me wearing the wigs. So the next wig is from this brand. It's called Ufe or Ufi or <laughs> something like that. If you do know how to pronounce this, please let me know. And they had some pretty nice wigs. Now I did look at the reviews for this company and a lot of people were really happy and posted pictures and I just felt like I really trusted that this was going to be a safe bet as far as synthetic wigs go. And these were all in the $25 to $30 range. I like that it came in a box just for presentation. And this one is also packaged in a bag similar to the other one. 
It comes with a little card that says find more beautiful from Ufi. And it has a bit of instructions inside, which is really nice and going to be perfect for any beginner like myself. This one also came with a wig cap. And here is the wig. Now this one is definitely not as shiny as that last one. So I feel like it does look more realistic. The hairs are soft. They do feel like that slight roughness that does give it a little bit more of a realistic feel. The color blend is quite nice. But now that I'm looking at it in the camera, I'm thinking that this color might be quite ashy for me, but that's a me problem and something I did wrong. And let's see. So it is a little bit tingly currently but it could be just because it was in a box that was smaller. So it might've been like folded in and getting tangled that way. Synthetic fibers do tend to tangle quite easily regardless. There is a little bit of shedding, but a lot less than the last one. I only got a few the first time. And it is quite long. I have to put my arm way back here <laughs> to show you. Um, it's a pretty nice length because of the curls. I feel like if it was straight, I would not be able to wear it as much. And this next one is from Esme, and Esme seemed to have a lot of great reviews. They had a lot of great styles, so I had a hard time picking, and this is what I got. This one also comes with a cute card with a bit of instructions inside, a hairnet, and I'm pretty sure that these are all the same brand. all come in a hairnet like this and then they have a bit of paper inside the wig and here it is this one I am really excited about the color is super on trend right now and the fibers look how easy it is for me to run my fingers through those they feel really soft and again slightly coarse so they feel like real hair but to me they feel slightly more real than that last wig that I showed you. The construction in all of these is the same so I did look at that last one and I forgot to show you. They're pretty similar. They have a little scalp sewed into the top you can see that kind of fleshy color and then there's lace covering it this one has a bit of a part where the other ones didn't seem to have much they kind of had like a little dot and then the hair kind of swirled around it and i think so far i've only gotten one hair and the color i'm obsessed with for sure there's just a blend of different kinds of oranges and coppers that makes it look so realistic i feel like the bangs are quite long you're going to have to trim those but the length is really nice it's a little bit shorter than the other one which i personally like i've always had medium length hair and I went with long because I was growing my hair long so I wanted to try some long wigs to kind of feel a little bit better about that. So this one I did not order from Amazon. I actually got it at one of our local shops. They had this little table there that was discounted Amazon things. And this wig was there and 
I did take a peek at it there. It's so shiny, but I thought, what the heck? I'm growing my collection. I can always put a hat on, a headscarf, a toque. It is cold outside after all. And you guessed it, this one comes with a wig cap as well. And this is that wig. It was pretty well packed the same way. This one's quite long. It has brown roots and it goes ombre into this really nice bright red. The cap construction is pretty much the same. Now with this one though, I can see something that I see a lot of people complain about when I was watching YouTube videos and tutorials about wigs and that's that this part here has this extra layer that makes it lay less realistically but again I can just always throw something on top of it if I'm in a hurry. There's a bit of shedding not as much as that first wig but a little bit more than a couple of the other wigs. The hair fibers of this one are a little bit more tangly but they're still very soft and they do feel a bit real but I would say similar quality to that first one that impulse buy that I got As always, thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm ending off this video with my favorite wig. This was the nicest. It felt the most real. The style is on trend. The color is exactly that kind of coppery orange red that's really trending right now. It's got the big blown out curls and even the way the bangs swoop back like that is just all very trendy. I may need to do a little bit of work on the bangs. I might need to trim them a bit, maybe put some rollers in them because they don't quite swoop back on their own and they do fall in front of my face. I will also say that this one was the least itchy on the inside and I don't know if that's just because the fibers are so soft or if it's the way the cap was constructed but I am feeling super cute in this one. I hope this video was helpful if you're looking for affordable wigs, maybe you're going through a journey like I am where you're losing your hair for medical reasons. Wearing wigs has been a really fun way to explore my identity. When I first started losing my hair, I felt like, oh my goodness, I am losing a part of who I am. But I realize now that this is just a new way to explore and have fun and uh, fun it is. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go, but I love you all so, so much, and I hope all your days are as beautiful as you. See you next time.